Focus looks on innocent faces with uniform rhythm. These children are not studying modern art. What they are learning is called the auspicious sound Dharma drum, a Tianjin folk art with a history of several hundred years. According to the record, Tianjin Dharma drum has existed for more than 400 years. Local people worship the goddess of the sea, Mazu, for over 600 years, and Tianjin has one of the world's top three Mazu temples. In the old days, a temple fair was held every year to celebrate Mazu's birthday. Dharma drum is indispensable for adding mighty prominence to the fair. March the third lunar month is the day of Mazu's greeting tour. The auspicious sound Dharma drum must be next to her sacred sedan chair. There were over 130 different Tianjin Dharma drum methods. Now only a few survived. Auspicious sound and incense tower are the most important two Dharma drum methods. They both have been included on the list of China National Intangible Cultural Heritage. Liu Yuan Auspicious Sound Dharma Drum Association is located at a village called Liu Jia Yuan in Tianjin Beicheng District. Members come together every weekend for practice to prevent techniques getting rusty. President Liu Yuxin is 45 years old. He started participating in the temple fair since the age of seven or eight, and has never given up his beloved Dharma Drum for more than 30 years. The drum box in front of him is the treasure of the fair with more than 200 year history. Except for several times paint repair, the wood and carving have been kept its original style. All these stage properties are from Mazu. These props have 200 years of history. This part used to use tea in the fair. This little box was to hold cosmetics and daily life supplies when Mazu was touring. The complete team making set weighs about 50 kilograms. The performer must carry it at the same time walk with the rhythm of the drums. It is very difficult. The association gathering place is not only for leisure and recreation, but also for Dharma drum practicing. To better cooperate the five different Chinese traditional percussion instruments, one has to learn at a very young age. Every night, the children will be here to practice Dharma drum. It has become the local tradition. How to make the next generation like a Dharma drum? We came out numbers of ways. All kids from nearby villagers can come and learn. Many children took an interest. They would come no matter what. Maintained by seniors, managed by young adults, skills passed down to youngsters. Together they have kept a rare existence of an auspicious sound Dharma drum team of about 80 people. The incense tower drama drum is another ancient sacrificial performance, only with a longer history of about 400 years. It is distinguished by hanging a tower-shaped object during the process of sacrifice. The tower originally was made of piled incense. In 1742, a wooden tower was built with people's donation. Unfortunately, it didn't survive over the years. The current tower was made in 1993, also by donation. It was quite a work using hundreds of different kinds of wooden pieces to assemble a tower of 4.5 meters high. Even today, a crane and other heavy lifting equipment were needed to finish the job. To overcome the trivial process and huge workload, 
every worker assembled with extreme carefulness. The auspicious sound drama drum focuses on percussion instruments, while the incense tower method pays more attention to music playing. Performers sit down during the three-hour play. Hao Huihua is the eleventh generation successor of Incense Tower Dama Drum. He has been playing for more than thirty years since the age of sixteen. As long as our health allows, and the youngsters are willing to learn, we will pass it on until the day we die. Lack of successors, few performance opportunities, gap of members' age. These are the obstacles most of cultural heritage facing. The situation of Incense Tower Dharma Drum is no different. Most current members are in their 50s and 60s. Only a handful of young members are willing to learn the ancient music. Tianjin has many folk dance troops called the Hua Hui. I liked the incense tower and the drama since childhood. I had a chance to learn it after I started working. We will try our best to learn and hope to be able to carry it forward. Dharma drum, the once glorious ancient art form, is gradually fading away as the changes in time and lifestyle. However, there are still some young people who love to learn and enjoy. Will they make the old art return to its vitality and glory? Maybe only time can tell. TJTV World.